Okay, hey everybody, so we're still water. In this video, I want to go ahead and talk about a couple things. I'm going to do a little bit of administrative stuff here. I want to go into the uh, the town hall, I think they call it, and show you some things in there. So on your main building, while your buildings are producing, uh, go and, anytime really, just go and click on your main building. You're going to see your boosts. Uh, you're going to see a number of different tabs here. You've got news, profile, boosts. It always comes into the boost overview, I believe, and then emissaries, which we'll talk about that later. Uh, so in the boost, you see the coin production. Because we're doing, this shows you all different types of things that give you some type of coin production or supply production or attacking or city defenders uh, boosts um, that apply from whatever the source is. In this case, it happens to be from happiness, and I happen to be enthusiastic, so I get that plus 20. Uh, that's showing me that. If I had other buildings, like great buildings that gave me boosts or, um, you know, whatever it happened to be, other just random buildings that sometimes they'll have a special uh, thing that they do something uh, for a boost side of things um, or if you have temporary ones that you that you used um, friends tavern silver for and i'll talk about that in a later video uh, those will show up in here the infinity means it never expires as long as it's there um, sometimes you'll have some that's like it's a two hour four hour boost different things like that but that's what this is profile is you this is how you appear in the game to other people and you notice my my on my YouTube avatar, I use my normal face that I have. Whenever you create a new world or whenever you join a new world, uh, it randomly grabs one of the avatars and assigns it to you. Uh, so that's what I've got going on here. Same thing for your profile. So I want to go ahead and change that because I always like to use the same one across all my worlds in case I run across friends from other worlds in the same game. It's kind of nice to have the same consistency. So uh, you can scroll through the list here. There's lots to choose from. Um, and here's here's the one I always use, this guy right here. So that's that's kind of me at Sir Stillwater, well, at least in the game. So, <laughs> okay, and I'll go and say, hello world. Okay, and this is basically, I'll change this later, but that is the, um, and then you can go and change your properties and things like that on your account. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that right now. So, okay. If you want to change your account, you can change your email. You do all that stuff. You do that here from the account tab. So um, you can add favorite achievements. I haven't even had any achievements yet to add to that. Now, some people do that. Some people don't. I don't usually bother. But I always do update my avatar, and I always update my description. Instead of enter your description here or whatever the default is, it's kind of, you know, you can tell. You can tell people don't pay attention or don't care because you'll see a lot of that description you know whatever okay news tab you've got two things one is an event history and one is your current contribution to great buildings i don't currently contribute to great buildings because i can't because i haven't unlocked that yet so i click that and there's nothing we'll talk about that later whoops let me go back into the main building go to news event history do i have any events somebody has motivated my stilt house we'll talk about that in just a second today at 8 27 it's like 8 45 in the morning on a saturday when i'm recording this so Cool, that kind of shows me who did it. So I can go and click on him. I can go right to his village if I want. And apparently I'm already motivating his and I'll show you that. Just Yeah, here, you can customize your profile text. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so mine just says, hello world, right? If you look at me, so. Uh, I'll tell you what, if, if you're gonna, in my opinion, this is, obviously this is all my opinion because it's my opinion. Um, if you're gonna have something like that, and you don't want to put anything in there, just wipe out what's in there and have nothing. But that just looks kind of odd, but that's my two cents. Do what you will. Maybe people want to have it that way. I don't, I don't know. I really don't care. So so I'll go back to, back to, back to my world. Um, where was I going with that before I got off my tangent? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about adding, um, uh, motivating people. Polyvating is the term that's used in the game. So I clicked on the little arrow here at the bottom. So I want to see everybody in my neighborhood. Um, these are people, there's 74 people in the neighborhood. Here's somebody who has the same avatar as me, so it's not exclusive. Uh, you notice this description, mouse over, you can customize your profile text. You can customize your profile text. Okay, get it? It's just, I find it kind of funny. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down, because I think I'm further down the line here. Let's take a look. Here I am, I mouse over mine. Look, I can customize my profile. I almost have saved it. <laughs> okay, so either way. Um, People in the neighborhood range from 462 in my neighborhood right now up to 10,550. Some people have great buildings, 
None of them are my friend's tavern because I don't have friend's tavern yet, so on. So what you do here is, I know I'm kind of all over the place on this one. Excuse me for that. Uh, you notice the aid button at the bottom. Aid will just randomly motivate or polish any of the buildings in their village. It will give you 20, 20 coin. It will give them a motivator polished building that they can uh, get the benefits from for a until its next harvest or next collection, excuse me. So you can just run down the list and say aid, 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 20, 20, 20, cash in the bank, right? Or if you want, you can actually click on their village. You can go in and choose to motivate something. If you motivate, you're looking at a, uh, uh, a coin building or a, a production building that's available that hasn't isn't currently motivated or you can polish a build polish a happiness type building so whether it be a tree or a you know a culture building or a decoration so i could do their memorial so some people specify the preferences that they would want so if you do it by hand look at their profile it'll say uh please you know please uh, motivate or please do coin or please do supply based on what they need um to help with so now that just gave them, gave me plus 20 and basically it um, polished their memorial, which increases their memorial's happiness it's giving for a certain set of hours or whatever. I don't remember what it was for those. Let me go to collect these real quick. Um, looking to see if I have anything that's, that's um, polished or motivated. I don't see anything right now. So I'll show, I'll point that out in another video when I see something. You can't do it to yourself, so it, somebody else has to do it to your village. So, but basically, I I like to use the uh, aid button. I just run down the list, aid, 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 aid. Do that once a day. Just kind of make that part of the daily routine, um, and it just throws twenty in the bank or twenty in the coin jar, if you will. Whoops, missed one. And you just do the. Basically, this goes to the end or the end. The middle one goes page at a time. And you'll see 24 hours until it, uh, I'm available to re-aid them. Okay. And while you're in here, if you want to message the person, like Pippin, I'll just say, click in here, and I'll send them a message. I don't know. I don't know who this person is. It's just kind of a random hello neighbor. Okay. And just sent them a message. So now they've got a message in their inbox total random they're a pretty new player too it's 683 about the same size as me so whatever uh <laughs> that's what you can do if they have a great building you can click on their great building see this person has an oracle uh which is level five i can click on the building i can see uh what that building pays you know what that building gives them and then um i can't contribute to it so i can't see the level to, to where you do the contribution side of it but that kind of tells you that. And if they're a friend in the friend tavern, we'll talk about that in a future video, they'll have a little chair and the chair may have a clock in front of it, which means kind of like aiding, you're already sitting at that tavern. Um, the same deal, you can only sit in a tavern once for 24 hours. That's a totally separate video. Um, it's gonna be a little bit before I unlock the friends tavern to show you that. I do have some videos if you're interested in that now. I do have some videos that cover a lot of the friends aspects of the game. So just go ahead and look on the YouTube channel. Um, I think I even have a playlist set in there for like Forge Vampire Friends stuff or something uh, that gives you that. So check that out. Um, it covers a lot of good stuff. I made that resource for our, one of my guilds in another world, and uh, I know some of the people found that really helpful. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. That is how you get coins from doing a Motivate and Polish um, using the aid button or manually doing it. And I think I also covered how you do your profile picture in here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, thanks again. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Any preferences on how you like to aid or motivate or polish or like to have your village uh, motivated or polished, uh, please leave them below. It's really nice to share with the community. Take care and see you in the next video.